Hello and welcome to Hospitality Insights. Uh, I'm your host, Sam Eric Rutman. Today we will talk about, for you, how you can learn how to use effectively a video marketing strategy to kickstart your business, considering that we are in many places still in the, in the lockdown and you are, we are waiting for when is gonna, uh, the flight's going to come in, how are we going to get more bookings. But there's an opportunity now while you have the time to do some video marketing, specifically live video marketing. We're going to talk about that. I'm with my guest, Lasse Rauhiainen, who is a international keynote speaker and best-selling author. And he's an expert, international expert on artificial intelligence, disruptive technologies, and also digital marketing. And we're going to talk about these things. And more importantly, we also show you some practical tips and samples of some video, what certain hotels are doing to give you some inspiration for, uh, for this time. Uh, I'd like to take, take this opportunity to thank our partners with whom we are doing, doing this episodes. Uh, winning, winning.training, which is the online portal for uh, hotel, hotel staff and uh, management to brush up their skills in hospitality and also visit Malta, Malta Hotel and Restaurant Association and Malta Tourism Foundation and Ministry of Tourism of Malta. So those are uh, we are partnered with this time. So a warm welcome and I will now, uh, if you are ready to start this, please put, give me a thumbs up that I know that you are in fact uh, watching this and at any time when you are live, any questions, any comments are, are welcome because this is a show that we have created for you and uh, I'll be now joined with, with Lasse to start the discussion. Hello Lasse and uh, welcome. Hi Sam Eric, thank you for the invitation. Well, it's, uh, we had a very interesting discussion last week and uh, with a lot of feedback what people enjoyed. And one particular thing that uh, came to my mind that how much people enjoyed that we were sharing some videos that they could uh, pick up some ideas from. And we are in fact talking about videos and live videos and uh, you, are doing, you are doing videos yourself uh, or you're going live, aren't you? Uh, can you share a little bit about your experience so far? Sure. So video marketing, I actually started and created my own YouTube channel in 2007, which is quite a long time ago. And have been, oh, I have two different channels in Spanish and in English. And, and actually, I have also given lectures and written books about it and so on. But lately, I've been so focused on writing books and writing articles and giving lectures and this and that and the other. I haven't really used my YouTube channel. So it was time to activate uh, and start using my channels. And I started to do live videos also thanks to your help, uh, Samerik, which I recommend every everybody to contact some Eric uh, for if you want to start doing it. So anyhow, yes, now I'm doing every Thursday at, at seven, uh, five o'clock uh, Spanish time and, and uh, Central European time uh, live video. And I have to say that I'm still learning and improving every time. So none of the sessions are perfect, but but it's good. And 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 YouTube likes live video and the consumers like live like live video. So so that's why we recommend it to all hotel and tourism companies as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, I have done now close to 200 of these uh, episodes over the years. And uh, I remember my first time uh, I was using an iPad, which was the camera I used. I, uh, I, I was really nervous because going live, I was wondering all the technical stuff that I have to make sure I have to remember before I go live. And uh, it, and in fact, I was using OBS at the time, which was it has a learning curve, and uh, because it was a free software, so I thought uh, well, I'm not going to pay for a software. And so I wrote the script out, and I was getting ready, and I could feel that my something was going into my throat that I, that I'm losing, that I'm not going to have any voice. And eventually, when I went live, uh, I start to go through, and I sometimes look at that video and to remind myself that perfection is an illusion. And what happened was I, I did not connect with the audience. I didn't look at the camera. Uh, so I learned very quickly. 
I have to put a little bit of a sticker on uh, where the lens is so I remember to talk. In fact, I put the smiley sticker to remember to smile so I don't look like the serious Finn who's talking head. So many of those things and, and the, every video I have done, I'm every time learning something new because there's something that which is out of our control, which is a technology. There's always something and so it's good to have a plan B. So uh, we, I think we're going to share a little bit about ideas, about the benefits and uh, challenges and uh, and so on and also the tools uh, because you don't really need to spend a lot of money to get started uh, because I think that's a hurdle for many people why I say well I don't have the money I don't have the time but uh, just make the time and, uh, uh, and rather than spending you can spend it's a good investment because you're building up an audience yeah exactly I, I agree the other thing is that today everything will be more transparent Everything uh, marketing needs to be more human and video is the best way for companies to to present themselves and let customers to know them. And those cost, those companies who do a lot of video marketing will have more loyal customers at the end. Exactly. So Lasse, what do you think? Should we jump into the presentation sure. and uh, yeah. uh, I will uh, start it right here. So uh, we're talking about the, what are the benefits of video marketing for brand building, awareness, and uh, uh, and challenges uh, making a video. Uh, that's something which has been my passion for for some time. Uh, when you first got started, what was sort of the initial reason you you started with the video? What was your thinking about it at that time? I think uh, I'm a, like a visual person. I have like a good visual memory. And, and so on. So I just uh, actually I saw it. This was back in the year 2000. I was I was watching one guru from the US and uh, he had a website where there was videos. So back then it was really difficult to do and extremely expensive. And I was thinking, wow, how interesting it, it is to have a website yeah. that has some videos. And yeah. that got me interested. And then I started to learn from different courses and so on. And that's how how I started. Well, fantastic. So let's take a look at the, the benefits a little bit here. Here is a cheerful uh, uh, lady who is uh, can talk a little bit about the benefits. And there was a study made here some time ago, and one of the things that they were discussed was that people are watching more videos and they remember videos much better than reading text. Yeah, I would add there that that I don't remember which study this was, but video will affect in people's brain in a different way than if they are just reading and, and looking at pictures. And reading and looking at pictures was something that I was doing in the 80s when with my family we were thinking if we would go to Canary Islands or, or somewhere else in our vacation because there was only like a, you know, like a booklet where you would see these, these vacations. But nowadays everybody wants to see a video. So video, you can create the memorable experience uh, in your in your consumers' uh, head, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> there, there's one one discussion which is going on that when you're creating these videos, that how is that uh, uh, if it's very interesting enough and it actually touches somebody somebody when you're not trying to sell but you, it touches the person so viewing it, they're likely to talk about it and they are likely to share it and that's how those videos grow and uh, depending on which uh, where you post them. They might dis disappear on you in in 24 hours, or you may, you may they may st might stay for a very, very long time and grow over the time. Yeah, and maybe for if, if we think about tourism companies and how to start, which is something everybody should start, is to probably st start doing something and share what you are doing. If you are uh, now opening uh, your hotel, or if you are cleaning your swimming pool, or preparing a dinner, or whatever. And, and start doing some kind of video showing behind the scenes of the hotel. And then you get like like a group of people who give you feedback on how to improve those videos. That's like the best way to build any business is to always get feedback from your target audience. So I would just start little by little, but getting that feedback and, and those kind of ideas that you can get will make your next videos much better. Yeah. 
Of course, a little bit of challenges. Here is uh, people get bored very easy. Yeah, I would say to this that we have to think where we are in this in this evolution and growth of video marketing. And and if we think about YouTube, for example, and, and that's why live video is such a powerful method because it's live. Anything can happen and people still uh, there's still not that much live videos, particularly companies are not doing it enough. So when they can see that oh something is live they are kind of like watching let's see if something will go wrong right so therefore um life is really good because it's totally different you have there in the slide it says unique video content so live video is totally unique and also people have kind of like seen already let's say typical corporate videos that were used to be done like five years ago right where you hired a team that went to your hotel or company and did the video. Um, it's difficult to make them interesting nowadays because like you say there, um, people are getting like bored. They want new new kind of things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, one of the hotels that I have, uh, which I have discussed with a friend of mine uh, who is in Malaysia, uh, his his approach is uh, he's have it, he does with his in-house staff, he has an in-house video market, video team that uh, shoots with their uh, mobile devices. And that's sort of just uh, uh, live streaming, which I will mention because it's, they're not planned, they're just on, off the cuff. The secondly, you hire a local uh, video photographer who has a, a, a little bit of a better equipment, but still a light equipment, who can then document some. Uh, and it's not, mu it's not much about... Uh, creating videos but documenting some some event and document some situations and thirdly they're spending every two or three years uh, they're spending uh, bringing a professional uh, movie making or cinema quality short video film and their target is that they, they are, it tells a story about this resort uh, that the person the couple has been longing to come to this resort and then they arrive it's like a dream and uh, it was so successful. It, it, in fact, it was went into a competition in Cannes Film Festival for the uh, short, short film competition. So there are so many ways you can do. And of course, that is the, the most expensive way of doing it. But uh, they look at the video and the marketing budget. And it's better to do it that way because that keeps, keeps them in people's mind. Yeah, that's actually really interesting that you mentioned those three different ways of doing video marketing. I, I think that's a good good uh, tip for everybody yeah. and, and something we can learn a lot from. And uh, another way, another thing I would say to everybody is also like YouTube is full of documentaries, like uh, short documentaries of hotels or tourism companies or destinations. When you watch those, you will learn kind of like some small tricks that will make the video more interesting because they normally move there's a lot of like uh, things that are moving in the background or, or they have different scenes and so on and easily you can kind of like learn from them because normally those are professional people and you can learn small tricks to make your video more interesting and and lastly i would say that storytelling always sells right because people like stories so um, you, you tell told that they, they have this example have a uh, like professional TV crowd that comes to make the uh, video of a couple or so on and those kind of like customer it's kind of like going from customer testimonials to customer documentaries I would say this is this is the new thing where we company should go now yeah yeah that's very good um so uh, we move on to what are the advantages and challenges in video as a business tool. And of course, the advantages is, is very clear what we have seen now during the pandemic, how you can uh, come into somebody's living room every day with some unique thing, uh, story. There are so many ways you can do it. And some hotels have been very, very and tourist businesses have been very successful, but there are also so many who are not doing anything about it. And it is for you that to encourage you, inspire you to to uh, see what you can do. Uh, so uh, one of the ways, like uh, uh, examples, are some hotel uh, hotel resorts that has a 
uh, have, have a fitness teacher or yoga teacher, or even if you don't have your own dedicated teacher, but you invite somebody to come to the hotel and conduct a, a sunrise yoga, and then you, you put it on the social media for the people to watch. So this is a good example how, how it has picked up. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea that you, you mentioned there. It's kind of like that the hotel's uh, staff become really like um, important people uh, thanks to these videos and the activities that are inside the hotel become like something that we will start promoting i think that's a good every every hotel that gives like yoga training should be giving those classes also via video right because it's creating good brand building and and visibility on social media and in general i would like recommend like doing like giving tips like thinking how starting the video with how to okay so how to prepare this and this meal or how to do yoga uh, exercise or how to enjoy uh, madrid in one weekend or something so starting videos with how to typically is dif difficult for co tourism companies because they think that the video has to be about themselves but they should yeah. be thinking what's the most important thing for the viewer and there they would say uh they would start the phrase with how to and and doing these kind of tutorials yeah so th that's a very good good point because now uh the the, the how to videos are uh, you think well everybody has made these videos and why should i make one one of about us well you, you whatever you do you you are bringing an authentic experience to to this video because everyone has their own way of doing it especially if you're using a backdrop of your of a resort or or on the beach or or in in the place where uh, people can somehow recognize about the place where they are i think they will enjoy that same goes for any any kind of tutorials and so on uh, and also the opportunity to get feedback and get some information from the customer because they will ask they will ask they, they really care about themselves what they can learn so they will ask those questions and those questions and that you are getting are the opportunity to create a a a, a, a follow-up video about certain some particular topic because that is one of the issues that people are thinking that well there are so many challenges how can i where are my fans how can i reach them do they really care about what i do and uh, uh, so uh, most challenges are that well what should i talk about and uh, this is the thing. What is your thought? How to, how do you create the, the the titles and how do you reach your fans? Yeah, like one one way was that thing of thinking how to videos. So every company should think about five five different how to videos that they could create, and then uh, tutorials for the target audience, and then think like the typical client who is my ideal client because many companies have different uh, clients like sectors and so on or ideal clients but what which are the clients that bring me most uh, money and what they do in my let's say hotel for example so trying to describe the staying there and and uh, trying to uh, create some kind of story and and uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, storytelling and showing customers in their, let's say there's like three things, like before the trip, during the trip and after the trip. Yeah. Um, and if you can create storytelling there, that would be really good. Normally, storytelling is really good when you when you do like, how do you say, um, you get people to laugh or to cry. And, and yeah. it's uh, not easy always. And hopefully not always people start crying watching your videos, but but that's the idea of, of in integrating emotions in your story. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, this is uh, uh, the the most successful videos are where it's creating emotion and uh, some particular emotion, or it can be uh, a lot of these funny videos gets a lot of a uh, lot of views because of that. Yeah. So uh, so now the benefits of live video uh, from a mobile device, because the idea of today's topic is that uh, you can start very uh, simple and the question is that you make that effort to 
to to get started and uh, everyone has a some sort of a mobile device uh, regardless of whether, which brand it is and nowadays those um, uh, those uh, mobile devices are so powerful that you can create some very high quality video and uh, so here is an example of this uh, friendly chef which is uh, having starting cooking and he's using on a small tripod and uh, just make an effort to uh, to share uh, his favorite favorite recipes and we will show a video here a little bit later on about uh, how how somebody has made it yeah and and again how to make this better is to get uh feedback from the from customers yeah. so you would post like one week before creating this video you would post it on your social media and you would say that hey we are about to create this video please send us ideas on how we can make this video uh more interesting and so on so so that will be i think really really good sure here's a little bit about hardware and also this is exactly what i'm using um i am not using the canon camera i'm using a mobile device even in this broadcast i'm using a mobile device and you can see the quality of the of our uh, live stream uh, i'm using also this uh, lapel microphone and th these lights these lights are uh, if you add up the microphone even what i used one light for uh, for for uh, for a quite long time i didn't use two lights which i use now and uh, and the mic and the <clears throat> and the uh, tripod this was less than uh, 100 euro and the most expensive part was uh, the tripod for me at the time and the, the second was uh, pretty much the same price was the 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 micro microphone and then the lights and that's how you can get started and i will show how how i use it yeah yeah i think that's a great great example and and i would just want to highlight that nowadays and it's so important the audio quality is extremely important and uh, video quality is important yeah. but out of those two like if the audio is really weak people stop watching your video because they think oh this doesn't work i will watch it later and they later later never watch it so yeah. therefore investing in this kind of uh, quality is is uh, fundamental nowadays and uh, everything that every company should be doing and the thing is that the uh, bandwidth the upload speed or the bandwidth on on your mobile device and with uh, well 4g is the most common but they are also depending on the area where you are you might have 5g and the 5g is very very powerful so it's very uh, you check your bandwidth and uh, they are particularly you can look at that from uh, uh, there are some some apps where you can just check your uh, that you have enough upload speed and uh, if you have uh, 40 mega bit per second uh, upload speed that's terrific and then you have a very crisp picture for your for your li uh, live stream yeah and and one idea maybe could be that if you're using your mobile it's good to put your your video on airplane mode so that nobody calls you because if somebody call you normally that will stop the the live video or the video recording and and as you said it's really interesting what you said about 4g and those things because uh 5g is being rolled out uh, all over the place and once we have it all over the place more and more companies will be doing live streaming with with mobile because this is i think really good i mean you could show the whole hotel and and many destinations and you know tourism is a lot about visual marketing so now you could do video where you could receive questions from your clients and customers and, and visitors and you could be showing the whole hotel tour and so on i think that will give more opportunities uh, to a lot of a lot of uh, hotels yeah so let's talk about tracking because now this is something which uh, uh, you are an expert on what what are the issues that what are the things how important is it, is it and uh, what are the things you should pay attention to? Yeah, so so normally we uh, let's start with YouTube. When it comes to like analytics, uh, the most it used to be that the important thing was the videos viewed, so the times that video has been viewed. Um, 
And it's good to say that this also can be tricked because you can pay somebody in, in China or Philippines and, and they can create you 1,000 uh, or 10,000 views if you like. And that will make you feel and your ego to feel really good, but it's not really recommendable and it's against terms of conditions of YouTube and so on. So you can always buy these likes, but it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, so what what is important is the uh, what you have there. Uh, two things is this average viewer duration and audience audience retention. So it's good to understand that YouTube's algorithm works uh, is, is really advanced and, and it's tracking everything. So let's say if a new video, if somebody upload a new video and there's like a public figure or some celebrity talking 10 minutes, there's a highly likelihood that, that most people will watch it almost to the end because they know this public figure and they want to watch it. But if a new person starts a YouTube channel, does a 10 minute video, which is not perfect, there's a highly likelihood that most people will left the video in one minute or two minute mark. And that's okay because you don't have uh, yet enough audience and so on. So therefore this audience retention is important. And that's also why you have to say that, hey, at the end of this video, we will reveal who won our competition of this and that, or we will tell something else. And this is something that you see many times YouTubers to do, right? Yeah. And, and then, um, so, and also the um, important p point is this uh, video time watch, meaning, so how, how long does people watch your videos? And that's why it's recommendable to do like 10 minute video if you're doing like a normal video or then one hour video that we, I think, is, are now doing. Uh, because in these uh, videos that are longer, YouTube likes them because they can monetize that content better and they are more likely to be shared inside YouTube. Okay, so you can appear on the right hand side of other videos if your video is longer. This was a big mistake I did like five, six, six or seven years ago. I recommended every, everybody to do like videos where everything is moving fast, but that are only like two minutes long or something because I said people are bored. But at the end of the day, that was then. And now what's important is this, uh, like trying to keep people watching your video and do 10 minutes or more. And uh, and if you can do one hour, that's that's great. But those are the things that that make you to to uh, share your video internally. Yeah. Now the the way to and I will do some tutorials on this channel. So on my YouTube channel on very specific things. Uh, for instance, how to, way to track it. Uh, I will share my my Excel sheet, but I'm using how to to track them because it will help you to understand what works and what doesn't work. And, and, and then secondly is that uh, it's, it's so important that, that uh, when you are planning your, your videos that you can have sort of a script or, or, or it has been divided to uh, like small segments of that total video, particularly uh, for, for view, viewers now, you see we are going from one uh, topic to another. And YouTube, because you, when you, uh, you can divide these areas. So some people don't want to watch everything, but they want to watch part of this video. So they can just click on the time time timer, and then that they jump directly to that portion. So if you go, if you watch the replay of this uh, of our episode here and in YouTube, uh, you will see the uh, in in the comments you will see the division I'll make for each slide and and the topic we discuss, and that will help them some people to come jump in to see exactly what they were interested to watch at. Yeah, that's a good point. So that's called YouTube calls that time stamps. Yeah, and that's also really important nowadays, because otherwise people, they don't, or the, let's say that the interaction with your video and, and people watching it will increase dramatically when you do this. I haven't done it in my last uh, YouTube life that I have done it. It's on my to do list. And, and also when I'm looking for new information, other day I was looking some kind of tips about social media or something and I found a lot of videos that were long but there were not these timestamps and it was difficult to watch them because I don't know what they talk but they will help viewers a lot so that's that's important to to do and also maybe one feature is interesting well also uh, like putting you can make you can comment on your own video 
and you can make that comment as the top comment okay also and you can put some kind of call to action in that comment uh, so uh, that's also a small thing but it's it's also good very good yeah that's a, that's a good tip okay so uh, so business to business and uh, business to consumer um, here's uh, something about uh, uh, video marketing and uh, and the changes particularly now uh, what how important things are to, to pay attention yeah and I would say the entertainment aspect is important and that's why many youtubers are are trying to make content that entertains because that's why people also watch television they are tired after a long day and if there's some entertainment they will watch it and so on and if you can add that to your YouTube videos you know it's it's really really good uh, it's not always easy and also um, another thing is that um, that, that some youtubers are, uh, are misusing it so that they try to be like too dramatic you know and 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 so on so don't you don't have to be too dramatic but anyhow entertainment is it's always good when you can it will also keep people's uh, attention on the video exactly yeah so that, those are the slides and then uh, <clears throat> there are uh, a little bit more that we can look at here um, well let me show the gear I'm using that because might be somebody who is so may have missed this earlier so uh, this is the light this, it comes with a battery and you can uh, this particular uh, uh, light is good because you can adjust the, the color temperature so you can just adjust for your color tone and it's very powerful and I use this normally these days for uh, for what I call the hair light so it, it just uh, is illuminated from the from the top and um, here's another just uh, very simple tripod to put the your, your mobile phone put a stack of books the key is that you always have put the camera on your eye level so you don't look up or look down uh, particularly people who are using laptop uh, cameras to to record live it's uh, uh, it doesn't look very pretty when you are you are you're showing your your nostrils because you're looking up into a <laughs> laptop mm. camera and uh, <clears throat> then uh, for uh, for microphone these are very powerful microphones uh, which you can attach to your um, uh, to your mobile device and it's so important that you do that this, this is all it is and how much was that microphone uh, this was when I bought it, it was like 50 50 euro okay yeah okay and it's important and, and why to... do you like it no I was saying why do you like it better than the other one I'm using the one that you also recommended, which I like. If I can show it, it does move. It's oh, it's here. This this one, this road microphone. What, why do you like the the one you showed better? Uh, because I use this only for uh, for mobile device, and I connect it. Ah. I, I connect it with this uh, a little guy. You need to connect these days because <clears throat> so it, so it fits to the microphone fits to the phone and and uh, for the microphone you use which is it is for my desktop the, uh, the quality of course the, the for the video in the audio for uh, for this kind of broadcast is much better with a uh, microphone that we are using and then i have a monster here i just want to show here which i borrowed from a friend <laughs> okay this is a gimbal, gimbal. and yeah. i mean this is designed for those uh uh, heavy cameras but you can also attach this to a to to iphone uh, because when you i'm going to show a video uh, of a friend of mine who is a general manager of a hotel he took us around took me around uh, i was here in helsinki and he was in copenhagen so he, he walked around carrying his mobile phone uh, it's a little bit of a challenging because it's like a bouncy <laughs> bouncy walkthrough but when you have a gimbal of course that is very smooth it's like a like a buttery smooth oily smooth the uh, uh, the the whole whole uh, experience and some people maybe find it annoying watching a video that is too bouncy that you uh, yeah. you you lost interest and so it's, that kind of perfection is, is very important because it's not doesn't take much to 
to uh, go ahead and do this. But uh, yeah, we can maybe take a look at how how this uh, my friend in Villa Copenhagen. I can roll the here. Welcome to uh, Villa Copenhagen. Great to have you all. Thank you, thank you, and, uh, and to all our viewers, if you have any questions, any comments. Yeah, so here he's uh, taking us around. Uh, he opened the hotel last summer, mm -hmm. and uh, he wanted them to uh, show off uh, because we we done a session together. And uh, <clears throat> he was probably walking around because what he's talking about is very, very interesting. The, the challenge, of course, is that uh, these are the things that uh, uh, just be aware when you are showing people around that you have to be, slow down your, your, your pace in showing and, and keep it to very simple things rather than trying to show everything. And, uh, but this is just a, it's a lovely hotel in, in Villa Copenhagen. And, and it's a shout out to Peter Hogg Peterson who took the time to show me around. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, if I could always see a hotel, uh, well, let, let's see this and then I comment this. Yeah. Don't worry, I didn't say housekeeping walking in because I've checked it before. There's nobody here. <laughs> you know how that so, goes sometimes. <laughs> you know, you, we've all tried that. Yeah. Um, Interior design here, some would say very Scandinavian, very classical, uh, because uh, it's a villa as opposed to a hotel. We've also thought a lot about that. We want to replicate and give a very calm feeling, and we want to replicate a high-end, uh, uh, not old-fashioned, but classical environment for a, from a Copenhagen apartment or a Copenhagen living. So you can see we have, uh, over here, we have kind of uh, put in uh, wall paneling again, uh, as the building is protected, uh, you will see the very high ceiling we have here and the very large windows. They're all new in the building. The building has a complete new tiled roof and insulation so that we have 37 rooms all the way up uh, between the, the beams of the, co of the old construction also. So that's very charming. Um, we have chosen a little feature here just to put a pin board for our in-room collateral collateral as opposed to having stacks and stuff uh, lying around yeah it's, it's really interesting and conscious mm. luxury thing and um, that we just place I, I would like to see this kind of video of before we i go to hotel but many times there's no this kind of uh, videos available so i think this is a great great idea for sure yeah and in this particular case he he took the time to because he has been part of opening the hotel and he wanted to uh, show off uh, the details and normally when you watch a, a a uh, like a vlog or, or or traveler who make it they don't they just sitting uh, they don't pay attention maybe to the painstaking detail that he, he thought about when he planned it so in in one way it's kind of nice to see uh, see the, those kind of uh, details here and and let's see we just move on a little bit here uh, so here he's also a staff you know they are interacting with the staff which are very yeah. impromptu. You know, they were just setting up the table for a, uh, it's a original boardroom of this uh, uh, postal office. So they have created this to a, so he describes pretty much in detail the, uh, and that's the railway station of uh, Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. So it just it, it takes the time and uh, to go, to show around here and then just move on a little, little bit more. Talks about the wallpaper is available. He's very proud of this. So, to, okay, now here, here's the end, which I like very much, you know, because he, he, he was very enthusiastic about uh, making the video. Here I am. Yeah. Well, you're not out of breath. That's very, you are in good shape. No, but I'm soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really a warm day in Copenhagen. I think it's uh, almost 30 degrees here. So we, have, oh. uh, we had a surprise good summer here in August already. So that's that's excellent. Very good. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful hotel. I have to compliment you. I mean, and, uh, and thank uh, you. Uh, sooner than later, then things are, I'm sure, coming back. It's uh, uh, it's a challenging time. But I remember you told. <coughs> uh, when we yeah, so that was just um, uh, my vir virtual visit to the hotel. But this is a, this is just a tip. I mean, he's walking around with his mobile device and uh, and uh, show everybody around. And and uh, the thing is that if you're doing this. It's going to be part of on the, on the YouTube. It's going to stay there for a long time, and uh, the key, of course, is to create an interesting thumbnail. 
uh, thumbnail yeah. being that poster that you're posting in advance and uh, of uh, what you're going to talk about. So that's uh, that's an, uh, one one way of doing it. And uh, yeah, then we can take a look just at the you, you we talked about uh, the tourist companies what they are doing. They are quite uh, innovative in how they are showcasing uh, uh, showcasing their uh, their uh, place here. And if you look at up here on the top, there is an eight hour video on no sorry nine hour video of of a sunset. Mm. Yeah, this is really interesting from, uh, this was Chatterboard, I think this was. Yeah. And, and in YouTube, like we talk, what, what's the most important thing is like, how long are your videos? And Chatterboard has put, like you can see there are many videos, like one under one minute, under two minutes and so on. But then they have done this trick that there are these longer videos that are eight hours and nine hours. And it's just recording of uh, sunset or, or beach. And why this is interesting? Well, it's kind of like a trick, but at the same time, like maybe somebody wants to have this open and listen the waves, you know, when you are trying to relax or something and yeah. uh, and visualizing your next trip. But also it will it will help getting more video time watch that we mentioned that is the most important in our YouTube analytics. So uh, as a conclusion, um, you can be creative like this and you can maybe record, I don't know, the center of Paris or something, uh, if that's okay. And, and uh, yeah, but, but creating and putting like longer content for sure is the, is the future uh, in, in YouTube. Yeah. I was also thinking about, I was talking to a friend of mine who is a business, travels for business, and he said to me that uh, he was very surprised that why in the world the hotels that has been he's been staying on pre pandemic he, nobody has contacted him and and when he googled them he doesn't see anything activity about the hotel except the uh, uh, stagnant uh, uh, website so the opportunity of course are two folded one is that uh, to uh, maybe sh uh, send us a small attachment a video greeting is is one 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 of the ways to 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 reach a customer and uh, in my YouTube channel, there is something which I call the uh, Bonjoro video messaging, which is a way which you can attach to a, a just an email because he's on your email list anyway to to uh, send him a quick video to say hello and then just sort of keeping in touch or and, and then to do a little bit more uh, like some hotel companies during the lockdown, they went uh, all the way out to have staff do things on video and get the staff engaged. So just a few, a few ideas yeah. here. That's important. And I would also highlight that when you hire a new staff, at least in Spain, you have to write in your agreement that that the material that is being done, the hotel has the, you know, the, the right for that content. Because sometimes you would be right, uh, recording and so on. And then if somebody goes to work somewhere else and says, hey, I, I own the license or for, for my own content, but no. And, and like you said, like every company should be getting staff included, right? In, in, uh, in the videos, sharing what's going on. And, and also like easy video now is to do what are the COVID-19 measures that you, you have now that things will start opening and so on. So talk about things that are in people's head, so to speak. Yes. And, and I like a lot this example, you showed this hotel owner participating in a live YouTube interview just by mobile phone. That's another way of showing how many opportunities there are and, uh, and, and so on. And maybe one, one thing we haven't mentioned is this working with influencers as well. That uh, is also important to do it correctly because not every influencer is good and, and so on. But, you know, that's also a really, really good thing to do now and, and get things going again. Yeah, and when you're using an influencer, uh, you have to take charge of that presence in the hotel. Uh, so it's not only about the posing, but they have to do something that provide value to the to the viewer. And because they're after all, they are the ones who are the, the advertising opportunity. And also in the contract is that how long the video that they're shooting is staying in their Instagram account. So it stays long enough so you get the full impact. 
Yeah, correct. That's a really good thing. And, and doing like a written contract is, is recommendable. Yeah. yeah. OK, I have a couple of more here before we finish off here. Uh, I have to admit, I love Italian food and like linguine. So uh, I found I googled uh, who cooks linguine and uh, Mandarin, Mandarin Oriental in Macau, the chef was doing that. So I thought, well, that's how, how I would look for maybe somebody can show me how to cook this, uh, cook this, uh, this thing. So. Hi, I'm Chef Marco, and today I will show you my linguine with plums. We have here linguine pasta from Italy, live plums, garlic, parsley, extra virgin olive oil, and a beautiful glass of dry wet wine. I will show you a little bit of preparation. We are gonna chop the garlic and the parsley and in the meantime I'm gonna drop uh, the pasta to cook in boiling salty water. Yeah, sorry, I, I missed you out in the in the picture there, but uh, this is uh, just an idea how how mm. uh, Mandarin, Mandarin Oriental have to compliment them because they are considering to be the Uber luxury hotel chain. And uh, if you go to the YouTube channel and you look at their videos, there are lots of uh, staff videos where they are uh, the chefs were at home and they were cooking. Uh, what was it? drunken oh, prawns wow. and uh, all kinds of things. So that was very well done. And so, I, wow. yeah, so that, that, that's uh, considering that they are, they are my, they have the perfectionist attitude, but when it comes to doing live video, uh, no, actually there's pre-recorded video, absolutely. Uh, they use uh, mobile devices and, and they could be on, on, a, on, a, on a vertical uh, format or, or this was a little bit more organized, but uh, it works with one, one camera. Uh, no, yeah. And I yeah, also wanted to say that there's so many, imagine how many hotels, for example, in Europe could be doing this kind of content, but almost none are doing it. So uh, I would encourage everybody to like show even simple tips and tricks on how to do something, because at the end, the how to is the most searched keyword that people are searching on YouTube, which, by the way, for most people is the number one uh, search engine we used to say that it's the number one search engine for young people but for many including myself i nowadays search almost everything there and if i can uh, you know find something that has been done by hotel then i share it and those kind of videos get their own uh, life of their own inside youtube and that will then help you to get this more lifetime uh, sorry more video views and and video time you spend and also, uh, the good thing then is that it will help your other videos later yeah. to get more traffic. Yeah. So as a final, uh, let's see if we can see this. This is... Um... And, and totally different and something that many people don't uh, consider. So, and, and most companies think that, oh, we don't do it, you know, uh, it's too much work or something like this. So mm. definitely you should always be thinking of how you can surprise. That's a general manager, by the way. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, Amazing, so, yeah. But anyway, that's... Uh... Just some couple of tips here that we share with Lasse about uh, uh, how you can, with a little bit of effort, so 
it's not a question of money. The, the whole investment is your time and a little bit of creativity. You can uh, uh, accomplish a lot and uh, uh, grow the awareness of your of your current customers, old customers who have not had a chance to stay with you and update them what's new in the hotel. Yeah, I, I agree. And and at the end, I wanted to highlight the the fact of uh, doing like live videos, thinking of how you can do live content, because at the end of the day, also those videos are, are much better for the YouTube algorithm. And then you record once, but they stay there forever. And some business owners have said that the live videos are great because they don't need to edit. You know, you have to prepare and use the good equipment and plan and all those things, but you don't have to you know, spend so much time of editing or finding somebody to edit your videos and so on. you just record. So it's definitely really, really good. And I also recommend everybody to follow some Eric and, and I'm also grateful for your tips. And uh, that's how I got started my own show, which is now three episodes and, and, and doing more and learning more. Well, congratulations. I, uh, I'll, I'll be watching your uh, Spanish language uh, and you have a very good following around the, the Spanish-speaking world in South America, who are, and uh, it's all about artificial intelligence, as far as I saw at this point. And uh, very, very, very good. So congratulations on that. Start again Thank with your uh, other YouTube channel. Yeah, I will. Yes. Thank. You. So um, now I just think we are uh, at the, reaching our end at our episode. I don't see any uh, comments or, or questions here. So I'd like to encourage all the viewers and also the live replay viewers, if you have any questions, just write them down for me. And if you want any particular, what particular thing did you enjoy most in, in, the, in, this, in this episode? And what are the things that you like to learn more about? I'll make sure I will make a, a, a separate tutorial for you. Uh, it, it comes to about how to do a script, what equipment, how should I plan my, uh, what is the difference between a, live stream or a live stream. Live stream is the one that you just off the cuff take your mobile device and start to start your tell your day or live stream which you're you're planning, you're using a script and there's a little bit of editing involved and what are the technical things you should think about and uh, how to pace it in order to get the most out of it. So just small things and uh, just position of the camera should you always be standing in the center of the camera or is it there's another way you can do it to make it a little bit more interesting so just small things and if you enjoy those things just press like and uh, and follow me here on uh, on this youtube channel that sam eric rutman the social hotelier and uh, i think you will have a chance to learn more about this fascinating thing about doing a live video and you like to learn more about artificial intelligence and also disruptive technologies and digital marketing uh, fellow Lasse Rohelan he has uh, he has written books they are found on Amazon and so uh, look forward to seeing all of you in next time and thank you very much Lasse for taking the time today thank you Sam it has been great okay we'll see you soon again